Hey, what's up, you guys? Perry the Entertainer here, giving you guys another video. Going to be giving you guys basically a just a random video. Um, I found out I came home from school today. Yes, this is my school clothes. Doesn't really care. Doesn't really matter. Anyway, I came home from school today, and I found out Kevin Nash was released from his WWE contract. Now, people are already speculating that it's a shoot. Well, it could go either way. Now, I know... Um, a lot of you guys know, you know, how is this that way? How is it that? Um, so let's start with the ways it could be a shoot. Now, it's ironic that they released him from his contract two days after his honor firing from Triple H. And it's going to be so ironic. That's the number one thing. That's the number one thing that I know it could be a shoot. But... On the other side, they did this with Daniel Bryan, too. Nobody knew that Daniel Bryan was still under contract with WWE. They only did this, you know, to bring him back later, you know, repackage him with a new gimmick and everything like that. So, um, and if you guys really think that Kevin Nash is released, you guys are gullible because basically you guys are basically did the same thing with CM Punk not even two months ago. Seriously. He promoted said he was leaving the WWE, which obviously it made sense. It obviously made sense. I mean, that would be stupid, but it obviously made sense. But you can't say that. How how would he leave? I mean, really. But, you know, I'll have a few ways that it could be actually, you know, an actual thing. Um, I'm coming up them with the top of my head right now. Um, so you guys are basically watching this live. Um, what, what have I said already? Uh, that he was, it was ironic that, uh, the actual plan for this was for, um, Kevin Nash to actually face CM Punk at Night of Champions, but they didn't get his physical or something in time or whatever to, uh, put the match on, you know, start the match. But that's why they really, that's why they f put it all into one. That's why... Uh, Triple H is facing CM Punk, and basically the winner of that match, um, CM Punk versus Kevin Nash, was actually supposed to go face Triple H at Vengeance or whatever it was. Um, so basically, Triple H was going to come back no matter what, but it didn't matter. It did, I didn't know who. One second. God, I feel like our truth getting water in the middle of a match. Anyway, um... There's another topic that I want to cover after this. Actually, I want to plug the person that said it. Um, uh, Bonita Mia Vlogs. I want to actually plug her. The link is down in the description. Go subscribe to her. Uh, she gave me an interesting point. I thought this was very interesting. But um, I'll start with the Kevin Nash thing still. So it is ironic, though, that they released him two days after his honor firing. Um, that was the main reason why I thought this was a shoot. But it's also possible that this could be real. I'm not going to lean, you know, oh, I'm not going to lean into WWE storyline. I'm not going to jump in and say, Kevin Nash is released. I'm going to cry about it on camera. I'm not going to do that. No, I'm not. Because what if this is all a shoot? What if this is all supposed to happen where basically, in my opinion, I think this is all supposed to be um, so nobody expects that he even thinks of interfering at Night of Champions. He's going to interfere, no matter what. I knew that when they announced the match last week. That Kevin Nash was going to have some sort of part in this. And I thought, I thought, too, that they were going to fire him just so that nobody, nobody thinks that he's going to come back. Same thing with Daniel Bryan. Nobody knew that Daniel Bryan was going to do uh, what he did at, uh, at SummerSlam last year. Nobody knew that. Nobody. Everyone thought The Miz was going to team on that. Miz comes out, and he gets kicked out of the team, basically. So, nobody knew Daniel Bryan was going to come back. Nobody really thought that CM Punk was going to come back. Well, I can say, I probably a lot of people thought so. But, you know, some people were actually very gullible and said that he was like, oh my god, he's really leaving, which actually was one of, uh, was me at one point. But then, you know, I was leaving and leaving, and basically the storyline made me know that CM Punk wasn't going anywhere. So, but... This is also a possible way that this actually could be real. Kevin Nash is getting old, people. He is getting very old, and um, they said he didn't pass his physical or whatever, but he wrote on Twitter the other day, or I think either the other day or earlier, that he said he passed his 
that quote unquote he passed his uh physical with flying colors and that his uh doctor or whatever was uh shocked at the results but what really were we all shocked i mean really he hasn't really wrestled a match if if you want to put a fair match he hasn't wrestled a match as the royal rumble and that's kind of disappointing it kind of is only like yeah really i mean really I think, for one thing, actually, I want to say YouTube, I think, took away my 15-minute thing because I haven't been making 15-minute videos, so I think they took it away from me, but I really don't care. As long as I say what I want to say, you know, I really don't care, but whatever. So, uh, this actually could be his real retirement from wrestling, the retirement from pro wrestling, it could happen, but, or he could just be coming back to TNA. I almost puked my mouth at the side of that. But, <laughs> anyway, um, so, you guys decide. Down in the comments, do you guys think this is a real firing? Did you guys really think that Kevin Nash is re really released? Or is Kevin Nash secretly hiding behind the shadows in WWE and is going to make his infamous return at Night of Champions? That's all up to you guys. Now, the topic that I wanted to cover, thank you to Bonita Mia Vlogs, down in the description, go subscribe. But, she pointed out a very good thing, they said, if WWE is really behind this whole be a star, you know, show tolerance and respect or whatever, but Michael Cole bullies just about, basically they just say, don't be a bully, basically. Michael Cole is bullying JR, he bullies JR, he bullies, uh... Lawler, he bullies Lawler all the time. So, WWE's more hypocritical that way, and I want to thank her for actually bringing this point up, because I didn't, I wasn't thinking of that at the time. I'm like, uh, blah, blah, blah. I really didn't pay attention to these. But, she did bring up a very good point, and I want to say thank you very much. Link is down in the description. Go subscribe to her. Um, my opinion on that, I know it's all a storyline or something, but seriously, people... You know, these people are your role models. I mean, really. Some people, some little kids, they really look up to Cena. They really look up to The Rock. They look up to Triple H. They look up to all these guys. But, first of all, if you're, if you're really look up to Michael Cole as a role model, are you okay up there? Are you seriously okay? Anyway, um, he's, he's annoying. I mean, but whatever. Um, but he's not a role model. I mean... Granted, I know it's all a gimmick and everything, but do we really think that he actually acts this way behind, you know, behind the cameras, behind stage, I mean, behind the scenes, basically? Does he actually act like this? I mean, I don't think so. I that's all up to. Uh, but I want to. I want to say thank you to her for actually bringing this point up because I didn't even know one thing. I didn't really think that way I didn't she wrote that on my wall and I'm like that really makes sense why are they doing that and I sent I think I sent her a message earlier um basically if you guys are fans of her give her this video tell her I said thank you link is down in the description go subscribe to her so um that'll wrap it up for me guys Perry the Entertainer signing up Yes, really, it happened again. I know you guys are doing it now. I gear. I knew. I knew. I knew you guys were doing it in the first place. Seriously, something's going. Something's up here. I don't know what the hell's going wrong here. I will definitely do something about this, but I don't know exactly when. This has happened three videos in a row. Anyway. Basically, that'll do it for me, guys. Um, sorry about no raw recap. Um, so that'll probably do it for me, guys. Perry the Air Tear signing off. And <laughs>